Hi everybody, my name is Rachel and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we're going to be testing and reviewing the Black & Decker 0.84 cubic feet portable washer. I did get this unit from an Amazon liquidation center at a little bit of a discount, but you guys will hear a little bit more about that later on in the video. All right, so let's jump right in. All right, so I see it's a little bit scuffed right here, so I'm guessing this is where the scuffing is. I believe with like some light sanding, I can make it look perfect. It has a very nice display screen that I see here, very straightforward. I'm really liking that. Let's go ahead and open the tub. Make sure you guys can see. We have our drain hose. Very nice, and it looks like, you know, it's a good length, good enough to reach into our sink, so that's really nice. You can always switch those out to longer hoses so it can accommodate your needs. And then here is a water supply hose, and it has a quick connect, which is awesome. It, they do provide you with a quick connect so you don't have to purchase that additionally. This looks like it is the cap for this guy right here. Huh. It looks like it's missing a little arm here. They had told me that it was brand new, but from the looks of it, it's not. But I mean, as long as it works for the review, then that is fine. I can always just return it here right after our review. I believe there's a lint trap in here. There should be. Not there should be, but let's see if there is one. Okay, straight away I'm not seeing the lint trap. All right, so I did the best I could to disinfect. I disinfected the tub, that's important, especially being that this is not brand new. But even if it was, you wanna go ahead and just disinfect the tub and just cleaned it up a little bit. Um, but it did not come with a manual. And so I don't know what to do with this part. But you know what, what we're gonna do is we're gonna move on and we're going to test out this machine and the function of the machine and how it runs. Seeing how it'll test being that it is quite used and worn. Let's see how powerful that it still works. We have right here for the energy guide, it says that the estimated yearly energy cost with the electric water heater is $3. And the estimated yearly energy cost with the gas water heater is also three. And has 25 kilowatts estimated yearly electricity use. All the machines are pretty much the same. They're pretty simple, straightforward to set up and use once you start getting to use them. We're gonna put in the water supply hose. And this other end here will attach to our sink, which we'll do here in just a minute. I already have a tiny bit of Teflon tape in there and there's two washers already on in here. And hopefully that'll do the trick. If not, I'll add some more Teflon tape because I already have two washers in here just so this doesn't spray around. We'll fix that as we go if we need to make any adjustments. Okay, and then the drain hose, I'm going to try and show you guys the best I can. It's kind of a little awkward space and angle. Okay, so we're going to slide it on in. Okay, let me give you guys a closer look here. All right, and then I just went ahead and slid that on in and put on the little clamp that it had. And lastly, we connected the machine. Now I'm gonna explain this a little bit here, what I did. I have two twisty ties, and then at this end, I would use a hook bungee, and it would hook on and latch onto here, and this way the water would go straight on in. You just do it however you have, just to make it work. A string would even work, you know, just however you can rig it. But that's how I recommend doing it. And then at the end here, which I don't know what happened to my nylons. I like to put it on over and then a rubber band to hold it. So this way it can act as your filter. So this way, as the water runs through, it'll filter out all the lint that does come through. So within my next washing video, I will definitely have that. All right, so let's go ahead and turn on the machine. Now, some of the mistakes that I see with these small washers is that people start just jamming in the clothes without filling up the water, putting in the laundry soap, and mixing it around before you put in the actual clothing. This way you can ensure that your clothes are washing thoroughly and well and efficiently instead of using part of the time to be really mixing around the detergents while also mixing around in your clothes. So that's a tip that I wanna share with you guys. So let's see here. 
There's one, two, and three for the load size. Two and three. Okay, so let's go ahead and let's just do, oh, let's just do a medium. Okay, so for the program, now it's gonna be the numbers here, one through eight, and you have number one, your normal, two cottons, three gentle, four speed wash, five spin, six for white, seven heavy soil, and eight the tub clean. So let's just go ahead and do a normal wash. So we're gonna choose for the program, we're gonna choose number one. So I'm just gonna go around and we're gonna do number one. So we're gonna do a medium normal wash. All right, so that's gonna be 27 minutes. Not bad at all. Okay, so let's go ahead and turn on the water and you can just regulate your water temperature through right here. So I'm gonna turn on the hot and the cold and then let's go ahead and press start. All right, so cheers what I use for my clothing, for my colored, and we're going to use here, we learn as we go, this is my first time using the machine, but we're gonna use like a fourth of a tablespoon here. Okay, okay, and we're gonna go ahead and sprinkle in a dash of borax. Don't want it to come out too fast. All right, just a sprinkle on there. Okay, and then I have a paint stick. I'm gonna go ahead and mix it on around. And this way, if we need to add a little bit more of our laundry soap, it's better to just do a little bit, see what you're working with, and then you can always add but not take away. And I think I'll just put a dash more in. And honestly, I think that is plenty. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and close this on up. I'll show you in just a minute. There's a little latch, the little latch right there, which I latched it on, now it'll keep it quiet. So Let's go ahead and close this. All right, and then we'll go ahead and, oh, so it wasn't on pause. Since it was not closed, it wasn't paused because it was never initially washing, and so it's already going now. You can hear it, it's not loud at all. I'm really impressed on how quiet the machine is running. I also like that it says here on the display screen how much longer you have in your wash. That's a really nice feature. You can see it is leaking a little bit there, so if I was gonna be using this all the time, I'd go ahead and correct that with a little bit more of Teflon tape. It's no big deal. Well, that's washing. Hi, Mila. Yeah gonna go ahead and show you guys here this cute laundry basket that we have had for already oh geez like four years we're at the 21 minute mark and I'm just curious if I just lift this if not okay it'll still make the noise okay sorry little guy okay and then you just press start again so if you lift the lid the safety feature will stop everything and it'll just start beeping and this way you just have to go ahead and just press start again and it'll go again so probably just press pause if you need to lift anything and add an article and then when you want to proceed again there you go I do want to say I'm really liking this machine and I also want to mention despite the fact that it's been kind of you know it's kind of been beat up quite a bit <laughs> that it still works very good like it works it works good that just goes to show that the machine itself is a really good machine and that it will take a beating and still work and you want to take care of your little machines i mean these machines are just so awesome they're just wonderful little machines you take care of your machine your machine will take care of you and to help others out if you guys know what this is for here please let people know down in the comments what it is it would be really helpful we'd really appreciate it and I just spoke to the owner, Jason. He was very nice. Both him and his associate, Rosie, that helped me yesterday are both very nice people. And with the case of this machine, there was just a misunderstanding. Uh, Rosie had thought it was a brand new machine. It wasn't. She really thought that it was just the scuffs on the top. And I can tell you, I'm a good judge of character. She seems like a very nice person. And I genuinely believe that's what she thought. Let's see. 
All right. It did a very good job at spinning the clothes, spinning all the water out. My leggings are just barely damp, just like they would be in a regular full-size washer. Excellent. Yeah, everything is, let me see. The clothes smell good. They smell very nice and fresh. Stands up to the washing test and to the spinning test. It stands up to the quiet test. And also I think the amount of time it takes to wash is very decent as well. All right, so let's go ahead and test out one more load before we go ahead and pack this all up. So after the wash, it looks like it did the beeping to let us know it was finished. And now it is off again because I was gonna go ahead and do another load size but we're gonna need to turn it back on. So I think that's a really good feature. It shuts itself on off. Let's try a large load. And we will try it on a normal. Oops. So it's obviously, it's first defaulted to a normal. So, okay, so a normal is 27 minutes for the large, right? Didn't we choose large? And it's also 27 minutes. So it looks like whether if it's on small, medium, or large, it's still going to be 27 minutes when you're choosing a normal wash cycle. What is going to be different from what I have seen in red is that it's going to be the rinse cycles. So with this guy, the medium that we did, it was just one rinse cycle. And so this would obviously be just one rinse and spin two, and this would be two rinse and spin cycles just like it is with the magic chef so that's a really cool feature so let's go ahead and try the large and then let's see for the cotton normal and cotton are 40 minutes and then three which would be gentle 36 minutes four 21 minutes for speed wash five is the spin heavy soil would be 38 minutes and then for the tub clean, which is nice, you can do a tub clean. That's awesome, that's a great feature. That would be 43 minutes. So let's go back to number one. We're gonna just do it on a normal. Press start. Since the water is already on. And this time we're gonna be using the Persil because this is what I use for like my towels and my bedding and stripping and whites and all that. So I have a wash routine video and if you have not checked that out yet, make sure to check it out right after this video. So here we have another fourth. This stuff is really concentrated, excellent, just awesome stuff and it'll last you for forever. It's the best stuff you can use. All right, and then a little bit of the borax. This works as a water softener. So this way, since we don't have the soft water, it will make sure that our clothing, since it is not being dried through here, will be nice and soft, just as though we were using some fabric softener or having soft water. Let's go ahead and get our stick. Mix it on up. Large bath towel. You know, you just have to be patient with washing your clothes. This is not a full-size washer. So even though it works as one, but it will it doesn't hold the same amount. So sometimes with washing, you're gonna have to be a little bit more patient and break up your loads. Being that the loads do not take very long and you don't have to do anything. I mean, you're not washing it by hand. You just set it and go. You might have to break up your loads and do a little bit more. So this is two of them. And I say that because you don't wanna overstuff them or else your clothing will not wash well. And just two large bath towels is what I feel comfortable putting in here. Now you'll see people in you know different videos where you know they're really jamming a lot of clothes in here showing how much it can hold. I don't want to do that. I'm not I'm not into that. I want to make sure that I am properly showing people how to wash their clothes, make sure that they come out clean and washed well. So we're just gonna do those two. And we'll throw in a little dish towel too. Why not? Okay, so once it is finished filling, it'll start screaming at me. Close me on up. We latch it, we close it, and I think it should start up right away. Okay, then it starts up right away because we never put it on pause, just shut it and it'll go. Here, and let's try that pause feature because I wanna show you guys something else here. We'll use this hose to hold that there again. 
By using some white distilled vinegar, I don't have anything on here that says it, but it's my white distilled vinegar. We're gonna go ahead and put like a tablespoon in. This also works as a natural fabric softener. You will not, I promise your clothes will not smell like vinegar. It dissipates very quickly and just works as a natural fabric softener. So we're gonna close that and we're gonna press start again. Okay, so let's check out our towels. Let's see how they washed. We got our first towel. And as you can see, it is not all hard and crunchy. You know, a lot of times when we wash at the laundromat and you know, just washing, you guys know in your wash experience that when using hard water, your towels will come out all crunchy and you know, just not cool. But with the detergents that I use and the, so and the vinegar, it makes the clothing so soft and don't have to deal with all that. This is a really heavy towel. It could also, you know, we could also pretend it's, you know, as heavy as a blanket because this is a thick, heavy towel. So um, with that being said, it has spun out the water very well. It is damp, but you know, no more damp than it would be in my full size washer. Another thing I wanna say and recommend is if you're wanting to speed up the process of drying, if you're having to dry outside and use the elements and just want to speed up your, your dry time, you could put it on an additional spin, which is number five, and it'll spin and work as an air dryer. Now, that's not what that feature is intended for, but I have seen reviewing these washers, I have seen that you are able to use the spinning action, the spinning tub action to also dry. It just kind of works as an air dryer. So that's just a little tip. The towels smell fresh. It cleaned them very well. So it did the job. And not only did the job, but it did the job very well. Leaving me with no complaints with the whole washing process. So let's talk about some pros and cons. Now, starting with cons, I really don't have any, and that is the honest truth. The only thing that I can think of is that, you know, the condition that the machine was in was something that, you know, was kind of a not so great thing, but that has nothing to do with the actual company or the brand itself. So as for the machine, I really liked it. Now, as for some pros, there's many things I liked about the machine. It does a really good job at washing and spinning the clothes. The wash time is pretty quick. So, I mean, you could have your clothes washed within a short amount of time. And also the noise level is great. It's not very loud. It is nice and quiet. And just, I mean, it's an overall really great machine. If you liked what you saw about the machine, then honestly, I do really recommend it. I like it, it works really great. And it is something that I would recommend to friends and family. Everything that you saw will be linked down in the bottom in the description so you can check all these items out. If you found this video helpful, which I hope you did, then please give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe down below and share with a friend. Thank you so much and God bless. Bye.